Hi and Assalamualaikum Now we go to another topic for the FET which is the low frequency response At low frequency, the RC couple circuit is like this There is a capacitor and resistor here where we can see the V-in is at the left side and the V-out at the right side and this is the derivation for the voltage gain V out over V in so from this one we get the 1 divided by 1 plus 1 over J omega RC so finally the cut off frequency that we are going to use later this one 1 over 2 pi RC this is a simple formula and actually it is very general general for the frequency just now we have seen the formula for the voltage gain and this is the magnitude gain in db where we have do like this the negative 20 log okay we log this uh, equation so it become the actual response in the frequency response and if we are using the approximation method to draw the the frequency response by uh, setting the cut off frequency of uh, f squared is greater than 1 and we get this equation from the magnitude become like this it's become negative 20 log the cut off frequency divided by f here frequency so this equation is actually to find the value of the av for the asymptote okay and generally this is a step okay to get a frequency plot in decibel so we can start with the find the frequency which is the f1 so f1 is the low cut of frequency so we calculate the cut of frequency then the second step we sketch an asymptote asymptote is actually is a straight line with a slope at 20 db per decade you must use 20 db per decade okay so this asymptote we can get its value from this equation okay and then the third step find the negative 3 db point which is this is the uh, attenuation happen during the cut off frequency okay and then the last step we can sketch the actual curve or actual response by using this equation so using this equation we get the points and then we get the curve for the low frequency response. In FET amplifier, the RC combination resistor and capacitors CC, CS, CG will define a low cut off frequency. At zero frequency, here the capacitive reactant is equal to infinity and the capacitor now become an open circuit so because why it is infinity because the when f equal to zero so one over zero we get infinity so for the circuit the capacitor become open circuit so no current flow therefore i current at r is equal to zero and v out equal to zero okay when v out equal to zero it means that we get the voltage gain also become a zero so here it is the voltage gain now become zero okay now take a look at this figure okay here when the frequency increases the capacitive reactant is decreased okay 
Why capacitance is decreased? You see this formula. When F value is getting bigger and bigger, and we divide 1 over 2 pi Fc here, this value, which is the reactant value, it becomes smaller. Okay, F getting bigger and X getting smaller. So, during this time, more input voltage appear across the output terminal means we get more V out here. Okay, so the voltage gain is increased. You see here means that F increase, the reactant is decreased, so we get more voltage gain until F1. Okay. Now refer to this figure at this point F here at very high frequency it means the frequency is exceed the F1 value here the capacitor reactant become zero and the capacitor become a short circuit why reactant is zero because we divide one with 2 pi fc here and f is very large so the value that we get from uh, this equation is almost equal to zero therefore the circuit here shows that the capacitor now become a short circuit then because of this we can say that the v out now equal to the v in okay because we get the parallel uh, it's like a parallel circuit we get the same voltage for v out and v in therefore here we get the voltage gain v out over v in equal to 1 so this is the maximum value for the voltage gain